In this video, I'm going to review another way that you can work with PDFs within Provost Layout Office. More specifically, how you can import a PDF into an existing project that already has control points. This will make it very convenient for you. In this case, I have a PDF with clear grid lines. It's a vectorized PDF, and I need to bring this PDF into this project within my Provost Layout Office program. And in this scenario, I have a CAD file with grid lines and certain architectural information. And then I have different PDFs that I need to bring in one by one that I don't have an actual DWG for that I want to bring in the more detailed information for these architectural files. And furthermore, I need it to align to these existing control points that already exist on this project. All I need to do in order to do this effectively is locate and observe where my grid lines are on the PDF. I notice I have P1, P2, P3, PA, PB, etc. Therefore, in my CAD plan, I've made a control point at P1, PA1, at that intersection, and then I have another one at P1, PA2. These two grid points are also located on my PDF. Therefore, in order to import a PDF into this project, I first need to make sure I make a new job, which I did over here, I'm going to make sure I can still see those control points, P1, PA1, P1, PA2. I'll go to Import, PDF, and I'll bring in my AA138 plan. Now, as you've seen in other videos, there's a way to fix this hatch, this white background, which I'll do in a moment. But I know that this point here is my P1, PA intersection, and this here is my PA, P2 intersection. I just know that because I know what the PDF looks like. And notice, when you do it this way, the option to import a PDF automatically says transformation. The software is basically inviting you to take this whole PDF that I just imported and to drag and drop it into the correct location amongst the control points so that it's scaled and aligned properly. So I'll say next on transformation. And now down here at the bottom, it says match two points to, to transform. Well, I know that P1 PA is located right here. So I'll zoom in there, click on that point, and drag that point to where it belongs on the plan, which is up here at the PA P1 point. Now I'll take P2 PA, which is right here, and I'll drag this to where that belongs at this location. Now I could use a third point if I wanted to, but you only need two points to do so. And you can see over here it's telling you where it's taking the old point LP1 and where it's taking it to, to the new point P1 PA. These first coordinates are the original location of where the PDF file currently is and where you're dragging it to. That's all these mean. So if I wanted to, I can just simply make sure that yes, I am indeed dragging these to the correct coordinate locations according to my CAD file. And now I'll accept the PDF. What you'll notice is that the PDF is now taken to the correct location on my CAD file. Now all that's left if necessary is to clean up any of the hatch work that's in the background. So I'll go ahead and come up here to this clean button, remove some of the hatch options, and now I can see my PDF a lot more clearly with my details. I'll make sure to link in the below description the other PDF import help videos for your convenience. But I hope this helps you and makes it a lot easier for you going forward with PDF imports.